What's up guys, it's Bax, and today I wanted to talk about something that I see all of the time, whether it be in videos on YouTube about Apex, comments on videos on Apex, Twitter, people talking about Apex on Twitter, um, people in my chat asking me about it, comments on my videos asking me about it, and it's something that I've seen since, I mean, I like forever, I mean, since the start of me playing on uh, PC in first person shooters, I saw it a lot with Counter-Strike as well. And that's sensitivity, the sensitivity of your mouse, the sensitivity with your controller. Now, I'm not going to pretend to be an expert when it comes to uh, consoles or gaming with the controller because I, you know, I grew up on it, so I have a lot of experience. But when I was first playing, you know, Call of Duty back in the day, everyone wasn't running around with scuff controllers. And most people just used the controller they got with the console because that's just that was the norm back then. Things have changed since then, obviously. Um, and, you know, if you want to be the best or get better at something, your peripherals matter a lot, um, no matter what really anyone else says. Having a PC, you know, having a, a high refresh rate monitor is really important. Having, you know, good internet, having good parts in your PC so that you're, you're, you have good frames and everything runs well. All that matters. So <clears throat> choosing your sensitivity is essentially the same thing, right? You have to choose something that works for you and that's what i'm saying in the sense of sensitivity doesn't matter and i thought of an analogy that may or may not fit but i see people all the time they're trying to figure out how to figure out what their sensitivity should be right so they go looking up all these top apex players and they not even apex just apex i mean fortnite counter-strike valorant literally any fps game ever people always look okay i want to be as good as this person so what are their sensitivity? And then they, they use that person's sensitivity. And then they probably don't even see any results. So the way I was going to explain it is like, if you start lifting weights, if you pick up, you know, you're I'm going to start lifting weights now. And you go pick up a 100 pound dumbbell and you try to curl it. You're going to break your arm. And that's because you have to get to that point. You have to work up to that point. And the way I wanted to compare it is, if you change your sensitivity a lot, the, the, the micro muscles in your wrist, your hand, your thumbs, whatever you're using for controller or for mouse and keyboard, they have to readjust with everything. And that's not even including your brain having to figure out your the movement of your hand connected to what you're seeing on the screen and your hand-eye coordination having to get changed. So every time you change your sensitivity, you're effectively making your brain have to rewire itself at a very small level to retrain everything you've done to now what you have changed it to and when you're constantly changing your sensitivity you're constantly changing what your brain has to figure out when you aim in the video game so the thing my argument is that your sensitivity doesn't matter that much at the end of the day you have to get used to your sensitivity if you look at any top player chances are they don't change their sensitivity at all if very little and sure, there might there's an argument that lower sensitivity is better. You see a lot of the top Apex players use the same sensitivity. I am an outlier because I use 800 DPI and 4.5 sensitivity in-game when it comes to Apex Legends. That is an insanely high sensitivity. Most top players I've seen don't have a sensitivity that high for mouse and keyboard. Again, I can't speak on controller for that. And there might be, there are definitely little things to setting up controllers. So I do want to separate this. Mouse and keyboard is different from controller. There are all these like advanced looking controls or whatever. I don't know if that's even correct. ALC, I've seen it. Um, and I looked at it when I was playing console and using my controller. And I've stated many times before, if I was to use a controller to play Apex, I would go into those settings and I would figure out exactly what worked for me. And then I would keep it there. Because that is the important thing. When you watch any top level player... They, they have their sensitivity, and they've probably stuck to it for a long time. If they do change it, you know, it's they change it and they keep it there. Tinkering around with your sensitivity at the beginning is fine. Once you get it to a certain place, you need to keep it there. Any of the people who are good or at the top have kept it there long enough for their brain and their muscles to strengthen up to know what they're when they're aiming. You know, when you move a certain amount in real life on your hand how much is going to move your screen while you're aiming it all just connects you don't think about this it just happens so 
when you're finding a sensitivity, sure, look up guides, look up things that you can find. I did the same thing when I first started playing, but you have to keep it consistent. That's why when I go back to play Counter-Strike now, I'm terrible at it because I haven't played in so long at that sensitivity that my brain has to readjust to that game specifically. So for Apex, I've had the same sensitivity for the last year and a half. I have not changed it. And sure, is there an argument that maybe if I changed it, it would get better? But then it, it kind of who it's it's like, why would it matter? I play at a top level. I don't need to. There's no point in changing it. It's not really going to change much. Um, and again, there is that argument there. But for most people, you just need to keep consistency. That is the important thing. It's just like working out. It's just like anything else. You have to start small and then move up. And that's the same thing with sensitivity. When you have it set at something, you have to stay on it. Because then that's how you train your brain to know how to aim and move around. And everything will start working together for you with your movement and your aiming. And your you know decision making is a whole other aspect of it. But just baseline aiming with your mouse. There is no point in consistently changing your sensitivity because you're just throwing your brain into it. it just it's going to go haywire because it's not used to what you are doing so when you are trying to figure out your sensitivity you need to make sure you find something and you stick to it when you change something it's always going to be weird for a bit and it's better to just weather that storm and keep it there struggle through that for a bit and once you get used to it consistently stay there and work on building up your aim and your movement with that sensitivity like People think about sensitivity so much, and it's just such a non-factor at the end of the day compared to all of the other things you need to work on uh, to get better at a game. Sensitivity is just one factor, and it is not, it's not the end-all, be-all. It's not just like, oh, what is this pro using? If I use this sensitivity, I will now be as good as that pro. That pro has thousands of hours in the game practicing and playing. That is why they are that good. If you want to match that, you have to put in that time. There is really no just prodigy of video games who is just the best player in the entire world because they and they barely even played. All of the top players that people would consider quote unquote prodigies have all put in an exuberant amount of time into the game to get better. It's just like any sport. You know, no one just gets, starts playing basketball and then the next day they get drafted into the NBA. They spent their entire lives working on it and perfecting the craft. And it's the same thing. If you want success in gaming and you want to become better at something, you have to do it all the time. You have to I get, you have to live and breathe Apex if you want to compete with the people at the top because they all live and breathe Apex. That is that simple. You are not going to change your sensitivity and immediately just do just insanely better if it's not built off of a base you've already created for yourself. And I think this is really important for people to understand when they're trying to improve themselves. Because a lot of people will always try to look for things like, why am I doing this wrong? Why am I doing that wrong? When it's, it's a lot simpler if you just break things down into what you need to work on, compartmentalize it in your head, and focus on those things one at a time, and then later on figure out how you can put it together. Because you can't build a house with no foundation, you know? I mean, it's, just, it's an old saying, but it's true. So when you're, when you're first starting a game, you're going to have to learn the game mechanics. You're going to have to learn how the movement in that game works, how aiming in that game works, what are the guns, like, what are the, in, in a game like Apex, what are the best legends, what are, what, what's the best way to move, what's the best way, like, there's so many things that go into becoming better at any game, individually, let alone all together. So, for sensitivity's sake, just don't focus on it so much. Find one that works for you. Again, if you want to look at guides, if you want to look at top players and replicate, that's nothing. There's nothing wrong with that. Emulation is the best way to success in a lot of ways. And that's what I did. When I first started playing Apex, I looked up to a lot of different players. I emulated them, I played like them, and I molded my own form of play style around what I learned from watching them. You know, Ace. Ace U, Diego Soares, Imperial Howe, Lulu. Uh, I'm not even a controller player, but watching Daltouche. I mean, there's all these top people you could watch. And they all do things that can teach you. And I think that this this whole argument over sensitivity it really detracts from what you can actually do to get better if you focus so much on your sensitivity you're not focusing on actually playing the game and improving and i think that that is an important aspect of learning how to get better really at anything not just gaming you know if you if you're looking at just one little thing all the time 
you're not going to get better at, at on a whole level about the whatever you're you're trying to get better at. And I think that that's really important to understand in improving yourself, especially in gaming. But I don't want to belabor this point too much. What do you guys think? I know there's, there's probably going to be some people that argue that, you know, sensitivity is the end-all be-all. But I want to know what you guys think in the comments. Let me know. I'm interested in seeing what everyone has to say. And I'll see you in the next video. I hope you guys are doing well.